Hello YouTube, well, uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. This time I'm gonna bring to you this uh, question that's got like on my screen for many, many uh, days in a row uh, that I got uh, several times from my students uh, from where I work on. So let's read it and I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna paste the te text on the description so you can take a look at. Uh, but for the meantime, let me just go ahead and read it real quick. Okay, so this is 72 Inc. A developer of the radiology equipment has stock outstanding as follows. 60,000 shares of cumulative preferred 3% stocks, 20% 20 dollars pair, and 110,000 shares of 25 a pair, uh, 25 dollars pair common. So that means that uh, this company has 60,000 shares of preferred stocks that pay 3% and. 410,000 shares of common stocks that uh, were, are worth uh, $25, uh, okay? During the first four years of operations, the following amounts were distributed as dividends. First year, 33,000. Second year, 75,000. Third year, 100,000. Fourth year, 120,000. Determine the dividends per share on each class of stock for each of the four years, round all answers to two decimal places. If no dividends are paid in a given year, enter 0, 0.00. Okay, so this is, uh, let's just go ahead and um, put some information, type it in some information. So for the first part, let's just go ahead and call this preferred stock, preferred stocks, which uh, they are, just go ahead and double click over here so I can like okay great we got 60,000 shares so shares so price the price that's at 20 I don't give you a total of um, 60,000 shares times 20 I'll get you. Oh, let's put this on. Oh, and erase those decimal places over here. Okay, great. Now, come on. Common stocks. Okay, so those are 410,000 at 25. And that is, uh, well, just drag this in. And let's just forget. Okay, so this is the. Dividend. Now the dividend for the preferred stocks, those are set at 3% and common stocks. Well, that's not applicable as you know. So, uh, let's just go ahead and copy this again. Because I want to show you something. And we got the first year, second. Second, third, um, uh, let's see if it works. Third and fourth, and fourth year. Okay. And they say that uh, total dividend, let me just go ahead up here. Total dividend. Was uh, 33,000 for the first year, 100,000. 120 okay correct okay so for the second year that's 75,000 right uh-huh there you go okay okay so the key here is to look for what's the amount of money that always have to be paid and that is your three percent because you know you know, sometimes you get to pay some uh, preferred stocks, some other, well, you don't. Uh, so what you pay here was 33%, 3% out of the $1,020,000 that they had. So uh, they paid all $33,000. If there is no any other money to pay, nobody goes to uh, the common stocks, right? And here... In the second uh, in the second period, you owe three thousand dollars from your previous uh, 
balance, right? Because you were supposed to be paying 36,000 and you pay 33,000. So you owe 3,000 uh, 3, and the 36,000 that uh, goes for that year. Now you don't owe anything to the, to the holders of the preferred stocks. So you keep on paying 36,000 all the way out. Okay, great. Now, the dividend uh, that's going to be uh, for the common stocks, are, it's just the remaining uh, when you subtract the preferred stocks, uh, the total dividend minus the preferred stocks. So for the first part, uh, you are getting zero, and then so on and so forth. So uh, that adds up to uh, what the heck? Okay, 75,000, and then, yeah. Let me just uh, format this because I was going crazy. So the, this goes now for the common stocks and preferred stocks. But that's not what they're asking. They're asking for the uh, preferred stocks dividends per share and the common stocks dividends per share. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, that uh, kind of table looked kind of, kind of nice. So let's just go ahead and uh, do it. Uh, let's just ditch this one. Okay, now the preferred stocks. Okay, that divided by the number of preferred stocks. I'll get that punch an F4 here so I can. Uh, okay, so we get, uh, we get two uh, decimal places, like it says over here, like two decimal places. So this is basically what we paid every uh, year per. A preferred stock and now let's just go ahead and find out um, how much did we pay for of the common stocks yeah, the dividends per share um, yeah let's add up some values over here and this is the answer that's basically it so first we have to keep in mind that you're gonna be paying 3% out of the total uh, amount of preferred stocks in money. I mean, 36,000. And then uh, if there is no any, mother, any money left, well, common stocks are not getting any dividends. And the balance, and this is why it says a cumulative, uh, it's gonna be paid in the next period. So instead of paying 36,000, you're paying 39,000. And the, year, uh, the years after, if you don't have any remaining balance from the previous year, you're going to be paying $36,000 every year. And the rest goes for the common stocks. And then you go ahead and divide the dividends uh, divided by the number of stocks, either prefer preferred stocks or common stocks. Um, well, that's basically it. Okay, that's... Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, so uh, I hope this uh, helps and see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.